as you guys can see, it's uh, absolutely pissing it down there. So <clears throat> I've left Nadine in the Sunshine City Mall and um, I'm going to quickly walk up to Mandarape, which apparently is just a couple of minutes up there. Now, I don't know what it's going to be like filming in there. Uh, the last one I went to in uh, Shibuya was real tight. So I'm going to strap the GoPro to my rucksack and see how I get on. <clears throat> it might be difficult. It's a, it is Wednesday lunchtime, so I don't know how busy it's going to be. But the Gashapon uh, Centre just now got mad busy. So um, we'll see what we can find. So it's going to be my second Mandarape. The last one was a little bit uncomfortable. <sighs> Couldn't really find much. Extremely difficult um, to get about. So I'm not sure. I can see it here in the distance. Let me turn the camera around. Now you see Mandarape. So let's get over there and I'll let you guys know how I'll get on. So we are about to go into Mandarake and it is absolutely pelting it down i need to be careful on these stairs right, let's get a little bag for my uh, umbrella as you can see already just loads of anime this is a uh, tax-free as well guys which means that if i spend over five thousand yen you can get about 10 percent back give or take which is always good to know it doesn't say anything about not recording in here either. I'd just like to make sure because you've got to be respectful. Some of the shops, some of the shops don't like recording, so uh, it doesn't say anything here. So let's go in. No way. Random. Let's have a little. This looks like a. Yeah, not, this looks like a really small one, guys. Yeah. Mostly books. Not seeing any toys at all. Oh man, this is disappointing. Lots of manga. More manga. This, just looks, this looks like a more of a lot like, more of a like a j-pop store mm. oh man this is disappointing oh man yeah i ain't seeing anything there just a few plushies pin badges lots of manga oh man that's got him i'm presuming this is the only floor i will check but you see that like, you see pin badges in that like this a lot hmm. No toys at all. Wow. Damn. You got X Men. If you want to read some comics in Japanese. Yeah. Oh, that's majorly disappointing. Unless I'm missing something and there's another floor. I'll have a little look. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm 
honest with you guys, I think that was a store for like gelt. Um, I'm just going to have a little look online and check, but yeah, there was nothing in at all related to what I'm into. So yeah, funny story. That Mandarake is uh, dedicated to women. <laughs> it's a women's shop. It's a women's Mandarake. Obviously, I clearly didn't do my research. Um, now, apparently, there is another one near the station. I don't know. It's, it's stuff all over the place. It's difficult to see what's what uh, when you're looking on Google. Um, so I'm heading back to the Sunshine uh, City Mall because I'm not meant to be meeting the Dean for another hour. So really what I want to do is I want to try and find her, see what she's doing. And this weather's hideous. It's worse than London at the minute, which says a lot really about the weather. So I'm going to uh, see if I can find the Dean and then maybe we'll head back to the station and see if I can get in there. I'll keep you updated. Right guys, I found the Mandarake that I was looking for. It's, uh, it's by the train station, so we're here. It's absolutely wet. Um, Nadine's running to Zara, which is literally across the way. So I'm gonna strap this to the backpack and let's have a little look. I think this one's toys, models and all that. is more a bit of me. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, I've got that guy. Actually, I've got most of these. Hopefully I don't get done for copyright. Some called cameras. I've got that one as well. Modern. I think this is the guy I picked up the other day. For cheap. Lots of transformers. There's a lot of transformers. Uh, sure, we're looking a bit better. That was a nice thing. devil man. Akira, fifteen hundred gen. That's not bad. Hmm. Maybe. It's not, it's not one I've got. Yeah, I think this I think this might be quite a new store. I'm not entirely sure to be honest with you. Uh, some Ultraman figures. It's cool. I'm looking for like saying that I'm looking for like some of the Ballmark figures and that obviously in the cabinets but I've still got to go to Akihabara and Nakano Broadway, so I'm not looking to go crazy crazy, if I'm honest with you. Again, once again, lots of anime model kits. 
thing is guys I could stand here for, I could sit here for an hour hour and a half and film a video but you know I'm I'm looking for I'm looking for stuff that I'm specifically after or that's specific to me it's American Power Rangers 4000 yen it's all Super Sentai and Transformers Gundam cool to see but not a bit of me Voltron that's what I'm talking about look at these these are real high end I'd struggle to get them back anyway in one piece to be honest with you They're not like junk bins of kaiju. It's quite lucky that I ain't into all this because, yeah, I'd be in a lot of trouble to be honest with you. Yeah. It's immaculate and they're like tidy and clean. I think, like I said, I think this is quite new. I'm not 100% sure. But it didn't really come up on Google. I had to Google like toy shops in Ikebukura for it to come up. Looks like some American stuff here. Power of the Jedi. Garbage. What we got here? Jurassic World. Not that I haven't got that. Terminators, 1800 yen. 1500 yen not a lot guys that's like a tenner no it's about nine quid give or take oh they're cool six and a half thousand yen six thousand yen micro machines i mean i haven't come here for american toys but if i can get something that's pretty cheap then why not uh, that's all spawn nah Nothing more for me. So I've not got like a Star Wars crap. Even the Japanese can't get rid of that rubbish. Cool Marvel bits. Again, these are all the American cabinets, so obviously a lot of this stuff's been imported. I've not seen no Gremlins yet. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see this cabinet, so these are, this is some of the old stuff. Vintage. Very nice. Yeah, I'm not too sure if there's any Godzilla's for me. guy is very nice I don't have him it's a lot of money though 16,000 yen and that one's only 12 that hidro is only 12,000 yen can I see what that clear mecha gib um, mecha godzilla is very cool CCP ones that I picked up the other day, some of these, and they're quite nice. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything for me, if I'm honest with you. 
is what it is. And yeah, these are the ones I picked up the other day, similar. Shin Godzilla's a nice SCCP as well. You see no ball mark stuff though, which is what I'd like. I mean, that Marisan reissue is not bad, the pink one. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lovely shot, but just not seeing anything for me at the minute. That red Gourmet was quite nice. 10,000 yen, that's only about 50 quid. And that is this one, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Can I look at it? Can I learn that? Yeah. This one? Yeah. So, this yeah. will be... Bigger? You can smell it. So oh. Oh, okay. Know what I mean. Yeah, 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 that's okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll take that one as well. Oh, and okay. then, can I look at King Caesar as well? Which one? King Caesar. This, this one. one? Yeah, yeah. This is 93. Yeah, I'll take all of these. Okay, yeah? you, you need to look around or just... No, I've been around, that's fine, yeah. Which cashier shop? Oh. Is it? Uh, and this. No problem. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Sorry. lovely, thank you. Ta tax free available here, is uh, it, with my passport? Is it yeah. 5,000, isn't it? Is it 5,000 on there? Maybe, I think so. Wait a moment. No problem, that's fine. So, just so you guys know, I've just spent 5,500 yen and I'll get 500 yen back, which ain't a lot in the grand scheme of things. It's about three or three and a half quid, but mate, listen, it all helps. Have I gone out yet? For, for sale, though, yeah? Just seems a, a big tray of kaiju while this lady's doing my tax free for me, which is nice. Oh, look at these. Oh, wow. That's nice. That is nice. It's a ball mark for issue. 8,000 yen. 92. Uh, And yen 92 again, that's a ball mark reissue. Uh, I might actually, that's gonna be 15,000 yen for the two. Uh, that's about 90 pounds. I might actually get these two because I'll get the tax back on that as well. So, yeah, this is what I came for, guys, and this was just on the floor behind the counter. Very nice. What else they got in there? I think the rest of it. Oh no, there's King Gibbs. Oh, let's have a little look. Um, obviously, someone's probably just come in and traded these in. 1992. 6,000. These are really, really cool. This is what I've come in for. Yeah. Okay, let me get this sorted. I'll buy these three. Guys, I am so happy. So I've just paid £140, but they gave me two and a half thousand yen back. Two and a half thousand yen back, which is about 15 quid. So I paid about £125 for free 1992 ball mark free issues of King Ghidorah, Mecha, Gid Mecha Godzilla, and Anguirus. I'm so happy because this is what I come here for. Now, that is just crazy. That's like £40 each. And they were behind the counter in a basket. And I thought, oh, they're not ready for sale. They're just, been... but obviously someone's bought them in. The same person has bought them in and traded them. Because that's what Mandaraki do. They're like a CEX, you, you, you trade it in or you sell it. I'm so happy. That is what I come here for. And yeah, they're 1992. They're not original 
proper hallmark ones from like back in the day but listen 92 that's just over 30 years old now um yeah so happy really good price as well i'm really pleased um i hope you've uh, enjoyed that little uh hunt that, we, that i've done today in mandarake um icky uh, i can never say it I'm, I'm lost i'm a bit lost um it's been a really fun day what's going on guys so i am back in the hotel room now um my battery went a little bit earlier and although i am carrying a power pack with me um we came back to the hotel and then we went back out into shinjuku um for a few hours this afternoon uh stroke this evening so we just got back it's about half seven in the evening here uh, and we went to <clears throat> we went to this place called um Surugayu, i think is how it's pronounced they have another kind of like second hand charity shop this evening and i did pick up a few little bits sorry for the lighting in here um it's not the greatest to be honest with you it's unfortunate but i managed to pick up a few little bits nothing <clears throat> nothing super great just for my collection got a <clears throat> fist and all-star game boy game for 500 yen so that's like three quid or something and i've got all these i think them, these are all fist and all-star um gachapon figures actually i've ended up picking up two of the same there i didn't realize um but they were only 100 yen each which is like 60p the weird thing was is that these were also hanging up there were several of these hanging up for four five six hundred yen and then i found all these in the hundred yen bin so i thought i'd just grab them now this was the fine though for me um 300 yen which is like i don't know two one pound 80 or something um and this is gauss from gamera um great little figure it was in a bin with a load of jurassic park and jurassic world figures so yeah really happy with that now on to today um ikibukura what a what 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 a day for me you guys would have seen it on the um on the video i wasn't too sure what to expect from this mandarake it was it was quite empty you see the footage i was walking around a lot of the shelves were empty but i thought you know what the prices were pretty good let me grab um a few pieces so i picked up first off king king caesar king caesar from 1993 bandai got his tag that one made in japan he was 2000 yen so not bad at all um also 2000 yen from 1989 again bandai got the tag um rodan really pleased with that and then this one was only a thousand yen uh i don't know what year it is i can't see i don't want to take these out of the bags because i just want to transport them in the bags that the, the, the shop put them in but i've got this really cool guy gun this was only a thousand yen um i don't i don't have this one it's like a darker color i think this is might be early 90s this one i'll check at another date so yeah really pleased with that now when that was only five thousand yen so i've mentioned it a couple of times in the videos if you if you're in tokyo if you're in japan and you spend more than five thousand yen in certain shops you get your tax back so it's ten percent. So if you spend, if if you spend five thousand yen like I did, I, or if it was five thousand plus tax, I got the tax back, which was five hundred yen. So I went to the counter. It's a separate counter for the tax. So Mandarake do do the tax free. And when the lady was sorting out the tax free, and obviously I've got this clip in the video, I see a load of Bullmark figures on the floor in a shopping basket, and it's it can be difficult obviously i don't know any japanese i only know basics and you kind of just have to point and it's hard because you know i say oh is it for sale and it's like she's kind of looking at me as if to say her so i just pointed and she was like oh and she brought the basket up and that's when i started filming and um yeah i couldn't believe it i picked up three 1992 uh, ball mark reissues godzilla figures all with their tags uh, King Ghidorah was 6,000 yen, Angiris was 7,000, and Mecha Godzilla was 8,000. Um, so let's just have a quick look at them. So, again, sorry about the life. And obviously, I've got these in the bags. Um, but yeah, by the time I had got these and got the tax back, so I got about £15 back in, in English, roughly, uh, in yen. I think this worked out about £120, roughly, 
for all three. So give or take 40 quid each. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased. I mean, yeah, absolutely mint. 1992, full mark reissues as Anguirus. What's probably happened is someone has, because uh, Mandarake is like a CEX, I've mentioned it before, they're like a trade in there, you see, Japan. Bandai 1992 Japan sticker. Because Mandarake are like CEX, someone's, the same person has probably traded these in, plus the Ultramans that were in the same basket. There was uh, a few Ultraman Kaijus, but these were the three that I was interested in. And obviously King Ghidorah, which was the cheapest of the three. Again, yeah, it's just lovely. Bandai 1992 Japan, and there's the ball mark. I don't know if, it's, if the camera will pick it up. Um, yeah, and there's the tag there. So, yeah, this is what I came to Japan for. Um, I come to Japan for Kaiju. Uh, I'm not into anime, I'm not into Dragon Ball Z, I'm not into Gundam. Um, you know, I'm not into Super Sentai, Kamen Rider, and luckily I'm not because there is an abundance of it here. But there also is a lot of Ultraman and Godzilla. But I did specifically come here for these sort of things. This is what I wanted. Um, and yeah, that I, it didn't disappoint. It made my day. I'm, I'm really, really pleased. It's weird because <clears throat> we wasn't meant to go there today. We were meant to go to Nakano Broadway because it rained. I said, there's some shops around Nakano as well in Karenji that I wanted to go to, some vintage toy shops. So I decided that we'll swap things around and then we ended up going there. And we obviously went to the all to the Gachapon um, Centre, the Bandai Gachapon Centre with 3,000 machines. Done about 40, 50 quid in there, I think, between the two of us. And then, <coughs> excuse me, just picking up all these. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just super, super happy. So yeah, this is this is another instalment of the um, Japan video. So I hope you're enjoying it. I don't know what part of this will be. This will probably be like part three or something. Uh, I'm, I've still got Nakano Broadway to go. Um, Akihabara, we've still not been to. So yeah, there's a few little places, shops and stuff that I want to film. And I'm not going to cram so much into one episode. I want to try and do small episodes, maybe sort of 15 minutes per shop and spread it out a little bit but yeah really really pleased with today's finds so guys stay tuned for the next part and i'll see you then